Okay, I'm back. Uh, you may be wondering, Gondo, how is your PlayStation 2 better than mine? Well, mine does something that yours can't. Uh, it can be, it can play very oddly specific games. From uh, very I don't want to say specific reasons. You know what? I I'll just tell you. I fucking managed to hack my PS2, so that way it's now region free. Uh, my PS2 is no longer bound by restraints. Uh, it can play whatever game you throw at it. Uh, I just haven't tested backup games yet. Uh, that's something that I was looking into because I would kind of like to play our tone Tonelico 2 like on an actual PS2 and not just a uh, uh, what do you call it an emulator but I gotta play the first one first uh, and get around to that one like eventually one of these days uh probably not anytime soon but we'll see what happens uh but yeah no uh i i mean like this this, this isn't a spoiler or anything like that i all right i've already spoiled the surprise like literally like last week when i was talking about getting my ps2 up and running to play uh Japanese games and that I was also importing Japanese games and I I managed to get them all I got like one more package left coming in like tomorrow uh kind of sucks because it, it just got to my city like just now what time is it oh it's like 7 30 yeah never mind I ain't I ain't making that trip and uh they're probably already closed by now anyways uh but yeah so very cool uh, my PlayStation now plays Japanese games. I have a whole bunch of them that I'm going to try out. Uh, I don't know the name of most of these. Some of them you'll recognize. Some of them you won't because they never made it outside of Japan. Uh, but let's see. What's the first one I got? Ah, yes. Wait, what the hell is that back there? Uh, so the first one I got was Don Don Patchy. Uh, Daijo something? I can't remember the full name of it uh it's like don don patchy daijo something let me see let me see if i can figure out the name i gotta find the ebay listing again uh let's see luckily i'm still logged into my ebay let me make sure it's not showing up on stream uh there it is yeah so i got oh it is just daijo yeah, it is just I, Joe. Okay. I was right this whole time. Of course, I start streaming and the dog starts barking again. Every time. Ugh. It's because they're doing construction next door. They're finally building the house next door. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's that one. And then I think this one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I was very interested in this one for obvious reasons uh, that are very much related to EDF. Jeez. Uh, so we got EDF 1, 2, and Tactics, as well as Space Raiders, which did have a U.S. release. Uh, I actually got it today on the GameCube because if I end up, well, you know, I if I end up liking it, I was like, I'll play the GameCube version, which is like English and stuff like that. I probably should have played the game first to see if I was going to like it, but it was our only copy, and uh, it was like 20 bucks, so I couldn't say no. Um, and then uh, we have this other game right here. Uh, it's right next uh, to Space Raiders. Uh, again, I don't know the name of these games. Uh, there's something. Let's see. Maybe uh, the listing I bought it from as like the full listing that I can see the name of these games. Okay. Uh <laughs> It does have them, but it's in Japanese. So yeah. So 1, 2 and 3 or 1 and 2 uh, you know, EDF 1 and 2, uh, EDF Tactics, uh, Shinraiku, Uchu, Daikaijuyu, and Kaizoku. Uh, but yeah, I'm talking about Uchu? <laughs> I guess that's what it says. That's what the listing says right here. 
Uh, but it's it's titled as like a three star game out of like six stars for some reason. I don't know. Uh, so apparently it's mid. Uh, but they also have EDF one counted as mid as well. As a three star. These are all three star games. Nothing below a three. Very cool. Uh, it said that the case was also three, but like when I looked at it, it was uh. It was pretty good. Unless, like, they're talking about disc and not, like, the actual, you know, game itself. Uh, but, yeah. Should be good. Uh, I don't know. I, I I looked at all these games and they, they look fairly good to me. Like, nothing really looked bad, of, bad with them. Uh, let's see. But, yeah. That's EDF1. That's two, which two is just a remake of one. Uh, and then, like, we have EDF, like, Invaders from Planet Space, which is just a remake of two. Uh, moving on from two, we also have Tactics, which is just a uh, EDF meets Fire Emblem. It's very jank. Uh, I played it, like, years ago. Uh, on a PS2 emulator. Uh, this one did get a European release, but it never got a stateside release. Same thing with uh, EDF 1 and 2, which kind of sucks. Uh, Space Raiders, like I said, this did get a US release. Um, it's on, I got it on the GameCube, but it doesn't say for GameCube only, so I'm assuming it also exists on the PS2 as well. Like, outside of Japan. Uh, this is the one that uh, that I'm looking forward to playing. Actually, it was like a combination of EDF, and then when I saw this game on the cover, I was like, okay, this is the game. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. I was like, yeah, I'm sold. It's planes, and it's got fucking kaijus and shit. And I was like, yo, this is just EDF. God damn it, my phone. This is just like Ace Combat in the EDF universe. Awesome. You can't go wrong with that. And then uh, we got this one, which is like Pirate May Cry or something like that. Uh, again, I haven't played any of these games. Uh, the only one that I did play was like EDF 1. And that was to test to make sure that the mod still worked. Or that the mod worked like at all. And I didn't like brick my PS2. And, uh, oh man, I, I just bought this PS2 today. Uh, this mod only works with the, the PS2 Slims. Um, but, but, uh, when I was, when I got home and I was hooking up the system and I booted up the game for the, or, you know, I, I booted up the system and I, I popped in Ace Combat 4 last night because I, I had just finished playing it last night. Uh, I was met with a this cannot be read error and uh, which prom prompted me to freak the fuck out <laughs> to which I grabbed many games off my shelf and began testing them. Uh, I started off first with Ridge Racer 5. It read the disc and I was like, OK, it's reading the compact disc. Maybe uh, let, let, maybe it's just broken and it won't read CDs or DVD uh, discs. So I ran back to the shelf and I grabbed, uh, uh, what I grab? Oh, I grabbed, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 because I, I used that game recently to test as well, uh, to which it also worked. And then I popped in Ace Combat 4 again. And, uh, for some reason my Ace Combat 4 doesn't work anymore. Uh, maybe it's just on this PlayStation, but, uh, I was playing it last night on like my old fat PS2 and that one worked. So I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe the game just broke today or something like that. I went to sleep last night and then, I don't know, it just stopped working. Uh, it kind of sucks. Um, I may have to take it in, uh, soonish to get the game fixed. Uh, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that, that's it. So... I got home, immediately did all this. I was going to, like, live stream the hack or the jailbreak, whatever you want to call it. I was going to live stream that. Uh, 
but I decided not to because uh, on the off chance that it broke, I didn't want my fuck up being live streamed. But I would have mentioned it anyways, like on Twitter or in the Discord or on like the next stream. I would have mentioned it on all of them anyways. And uh, said like, yeah, I I wasted $150 <laughs> because my my uh, PlayStation 2 that I just bought, uh, I accidentally bricked it. Uh, very cool. But no, that wasn't the case. And uh, I also got a few memory cards. Well, I got like one memory card. Uh, well, I got three memory cards, but one of them holds like the hack, which I don't think you really need it. Uh, when, when I was going through, when I was following the instructions, the guy didn't really say anything that I needed to leave the memory card or the, uh, or the USB, like, plugged in, um, in order for it to work. I think you just need it just to access those features, but from what I know of, uh, what is it, Mechapone, yeah, that, that's what it's called, Mechapone, Pone, uh, it installs it installs it straight to the software of the PS2. So you're not doing a like a hardware hardware mod or a soft mod or anything like that. You're actually like altering the the way that the system works. Um and if you do it wrong, you can actually brick your PS2 because I I was looking up stuff. I was I was I was doing some research. And uh, one guy that was trying to do this mod, he said that he accidentally started Mechapone up first, and then after that, it, like, bricked his console. Like, it won't even read discs anymore, uh, because he he and he did the install improperly. Uh, you're supposed to, like, boot up Mc, McBoot, I think is what it's called. Free McBoot? Yeah, I think it's, like, Free McBoot. You're supposed to boot that up. Uh... And then you just, you basically go from there. Like, once you get that booted up, then you can start up Mechapone. And then it it installs, like, the system, you know, it installs it right into the game itself. Or, game. The system itself. Uh, and then, like, as you're going through, you know, the, the Mechapone things, it'll ask you, like, you know, what type of console you have, or system you have. And then after that, it'll ask you which region you want to unlock it for. And it'll have, like... US multi seven, I think, is like the one that you're supposed to click on. It, it's it's basically the top one, uh, the the very first option, and uh, that is what region unlocks it or unlocks you know the region restriction to the PS two. Uh, I haven't seen if there's any negatives to this type of mod, but it was worth it. Uh, I can now play Japanese games, and uh, I don't know if this guy is going to send the PS, the Japanese PS2, anytime soon. Uh, I mean, he's got like two more days to send it. Uh, if I don't get a notification, he said like within ten business days, or within ten days. I think it was ten days. Yeah, it was like within ten days. So it'd be like the 29th on Friday, because I I ordered it on Tuesday the 19th. Uh, so if I don't, if I don't get a notification, then I'm just going to cancel it and, uh, he can cope and seethe about it, uh, because he was too fucking slow to send me a fucking console. Everyone else literally sent their shit out, like, the day after, uh, the last batch of Japanese games that I have coming in literally made it to Texas in a day. It was fucking insane. Like, I, I placed the order, uh... Yesterday? Tuesday? Yeah, I put the order in on Tuesday. And then I look at my uh at the tracking this morning when I went to when I w when I was waking up and it was already in my city. And I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "All right. Uh I don't know why this guy is taking 10 days to fucking send a console, but uh fuck it. Whatever. Uh I will I will take matters into my own hands and uh, mod my PS2 to work, uh, or at least to play Japanese games, because this guy doesn't want to send me the PS2 now. It's gone on Vault. Glad you make it up your day. It's been going good. Uh, but yeah, it has been a while. Uh, you're here just in time for the uh, Japanese Kusoge uh, stream. Uh, 
At least, like... Jeez. Hello there. Hello there. What's going on, Flea? Glad you make it up. Your day's been going good. Hopefully you caught my entire lore story uh, just now as to uh, as to what I've been doing these last two days. Uh, but yeah, I tried to like the, the reason why I canceled. What was it? I know I canceled a stream earlier. I think it was Tuesday. Yeah, I canceled Tuesday stream. Tuesday stream. Yeah, I, I canceled yesterday's stream because uh, one, because I I worked super late. I didn't get home until like 815, 820 or something like that. Um, and two, because I, I figured it'd be a better idea to at least try to mod the fat PS2 to like, see if it can play. Um, unfortunately it didn't work, uh, due to the fact that Mechapone only works on slim models. Uh, so that kind of sucked. So I, I basically wasted my whole night, but I did eventually get it to a point where, I think I'm like one step away from being at least being able to play uh like back backup games like on a on like a bootleg disc. Like I I'll, I'll be able to play like pirated games on on that PS2 soon. I I think I'm just missing like one step. I don't know what it is cuz it wasn't something that I was looking into, but the uh the guide that I was reading or the guide that I was watching uh said like, you know, from here you can basically set it up so that way you can read uh you know uh, backed up games so i have like 47 like blank dvds now because i only needed one for the the free mcboot dvd uh so what's the first game gonna be uh i think the first game is gonna be dun dun patchy uh we'll we'll get the good game out of the way first because the rest of them are uh just straight kasoge so we got edf1 EDF2. I may play EDF Tactics. It is in the list, but I'm not sure. Uh, Space Raiders, which I also have this on GameCube. I picked it up on GameCube today because it's in English. Uh, this game, which is like Ushu, the Ushu or something like that. I don't know what it is. Uh, all I can tell you is that it, it looks like Ace Combat, but if it was set in the EDF universe. And then uh, Pirate May Cry. Uh, those those are the games that I have listed. The Ocean Great War. I I don't even know if that's a thing. If it's a thing, that you're gonna have to tell me. Uh, but I'm gonna take your word for it. Uh, I I get the feeling that Flea may actually know Japanese. But yeah, no. When I looked it up on eBay, it was just called the Uchu, the Ushu, or something like that. Um. But yeah, so. But anyways, uh, back to the other story. Uh, yeah, so trying to mod the fat PS2, uh, it didn't work out. But my game, it still, it's, it still does work. So there's that at least. Uh, my, my fat PS2 is still in commission, and uh, I now have a slim PS2. So that means I can have a PlayStation in each room, in my bedroom, and in my office. It's amazing. It's the it's the dream that I've always yearned for. It's a, it's a, it's a true sign that I've made it in life that I can now have a PlayStation Two in, uh, in my two domains, and in the living room if I so choose to, because I actually have three. I actually have four PlayStation Twos. I don't have a problem. It's a great system. I also have like a bunch of PlayStation Two controllers because uh, I am buying those things up like crazy right now four ps2s you can bind them together and make a ps8 uh but yeah uh no i have been hoarding the fuck out of playstation 2 controllers uh they're they're all in great condition too uh i i i bought another playstation 2 controller and i have a uh, a shitty third party controller right behind me you can make a ps8 i know dude watch witness me I'm just going to tape them all together. I got like three fat PS2. Well, to be fair, one of like my OG, my very first PlayStation 2 doesn't work anymore. Like it doesn't turn on at all. It fucking sucks, dude. I was so I was so upset when I came back home and tried to turn it on and it it did not work. But uh but yeah. So, there's that. 
Um, and then, like, the other PS2 that I have, it won't read, like, PS1 games or the, like, like original blue disc PS2 games. It won't read any of those. Um, but it will read the DVDs. But the other fat PS2 that I have will read PS2, PS1, as well as those blue discs that the PS2s used to come on, the compact discs. It will read that. And uh, now I have this PS2 Slim that will read all those games listed, plus Japanese as well. Uh, I think it also play. I think it's like totally region free now. So now it, I'm pretty sure it can play PAL games. So if I can like actually get my hands on like the original EDF games and EDF tactics, and like original uh, Oni Chanbara. Because I think Oni Chambara 1 and 2 managed to make it out of Japan and into Europe. So it actually does have like an English translation. Uh, so I may I may try to grab those eventually. Uh, but yeah. Uh let me let me grab the first game then. Ugh. But yeah, I also have uh, other uh, Japanese games that I got as well. Sorry, I had to figure out which one was the, the correct game disc. Because it's all in Japanese. And uh, Don Don Tachi comes with a actual game disc, as well as a... Uh, special DVD disc that has like bonus features and stuff on it. But yeah, from what I've heard, like many of uh Japanese shoot 'em ups. Uh this one is insanely hard. But yeah. I'm just glad it's one of the toughest toughest I heard. Yeah, they're they're pretty up there, dude. Um like even playing on normal mode, they're they're tough, dude. Hold on. I forgot to uh set this up. Mm. There we go. Don't you hate when the model tracking stops working? There we go. But yeah. Uh, the only thing that I haven't actually tested is if... Uh, no, no, actually I did test it. Uh, I made a save file on another memory card, but I deleted it. And uh, I have... I, I gotta get another memory card that will be, like, dedicated to Japanese games. I only have one dedicated to Japanese games. Uh, but yeah. Let's see if it works. It's uh, It's the moment of truth. And you will witness. Yeah, it works. Let's go. It works again. Well, I say again. It's always worked. I just need audio. There we go. That should be fine. We're so in. Bro, it's never been so in than it has been right now. Look at all this bullshit. Oh my god, it's in English. Holy shit. <laughs> How much of this is in English? Oh my god, there's so much of it that's in English. Bro, no fucking way. Ah, oh, this is amazing. All right, rapid X bomb square to shoot. Okay, easy. Lever select. Oh, oh, that's so cool. You can fucking Tate or Yoko. 
Look at this goober. Look at this goober. He doesn't have a PS2 that can play Japanese games and American games, as well as PAL games. Play it <laughs> on your side. No, so that that's in case you ever want to, like, flip your monitor over. That's that's in case you want to like put your monitor into like a uh, portrait mode, so that way you know you can you can have the true arcade experience. Uh, I've done it a few times. I'm not gonna do it right now because uh, I don't really have the space to rotate my monitor right now. But uh, yeah, nah, it it works, and it worked out better than I thought because it turns out that all the fucking menus are in English. No bullet mode. What? That's like baby mode. What game is this? This is Don 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 Patchy Daijo or Daiju. Uh, we always go with Type B. E. Girls? Oh no. Uh, I'm Mary. Uh, I'm digging the purple one. She's got a cool aesthetic. Don Don Patchy. Look at this guy, he doesn't know what Don Don Pachi is. Okay, that's long. Okay. That's like your 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 standard Don Don Pachi. You, you play as a girl. Uh I don't wanna look at a dude's ass all day, okay? That's my excuse. Look at this guy. Plays as dudes and stares at their butts all day. Shake my head. Uh, it's a hard game. Shut up. Hey man, you never played a Don Don Apache game. I have. I'm a veteran at these games. Somewhat. I've only ever finished like one Don Don Patchy game. And it took me like 20 tries to do it. Ah. I've seen you fucking play Dark Souls. I've seen you play fucking Armored Core 6. Don't act like you're better. I've seen your gameplay skills. I beat Dark Souls. No, you didn't. I didn't see it. If I didn't see it, it didn't happen. Right there, too. Bet this man she's the space. And Star Wars Battlefront 2. I actually didn't play Battlefront 2 that much. I haven't even touched Battlefront 2 since like it first fucking released. Or at least the, the remake. Uh oh, I didn't notice the fucking map at the bottom right there. Holy shit. Or on the side. That's so cool. More shoot 'em ups need to have that as a feature. Have they fixed it? Dude, they only ever put out one update. They put one update out and called it a fucking day. We got scammed. But you know what? The single player works. What's going on? Glad you make it up your days been going good. I'm playing Japanese games on my American PS2. Look at these flight skills. You don't have these flight skills. Joker's a pilot and he couldn't fucking do this. Damn it. I 
flex too hard. The multiplayer works. It works. <laughs> like, barely. It works enough to get a game in. But the single player still works. I guess that's all that really matters. Also, let me know if the game audio is like too low or something like that. But if you're also doesn't get shot down. Hey, yeah, it does. All the time. Why do you think they call him Joker? <laughs> I like this. This is like probably one of the better shoot 'em ups that I played. Well, I say one of the better shoot 'em ups. It is probably like one of the a, a really really good shmup. I said this was supposed to be a Kusoge night, and uh, I'm over here playing fucking Kino. You really do have to play, like, super aggressive in this game, though. Like, you can't just, like, sit back and, like, expect to dodge bullets that way. Gotta check my chicken. Look at this dude. Making chimkin. Imagine that. Making chicken. Sorry, shitter. Pretty cool. Nah. nah, this is a this is a PlayStation 2 one. Fuck, I should have stayed in the center. Chicken. Fuck. Hell yeah, I'm so good. Well, what's going on, Ever? Glad you make it up your day. It's been going good. Same, uh, same to flee. Same to mailbox. Vault. Hopefully, y'all's day's been going pretty good. Uh, shit's been going good for me at the, uh, at the game store. Uh, they're talking about, uh, possibly giving me more hours, which, uh, I'm totally down for. I've told them all, all I need is like 20 hours a week and I, I will be happy, but if they want to give me more, I will, I will not say no. Fuck! But yeah, uh, apparently the other guy's actually been kind of fucking up. <laughs> whenever I, uh, whenever I recanted that story, because I thought it was really fucking funny, the uh, the one where he was like, "Oh, just to let you know, this uh, this is an M-rated game." To like some some lady and her kid. Uh, the manager actually didn't think that was funny. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Uh, but he was just like, "Are you fucking kidding me, dude?" And I was like, "I was like, oh, I'm not kidding you, dude. It, that shit fucking happened." He's like, bro, he's like, he's like, he's so lucky I wasn't fucking there because I would have fired him right there on the spot for trying to fucking prevent a sale. Fuck! Poetry night at the coffee shop tonight. Tons of fun. Hell yeah, that's pretty sick. But yeah, uh, no, nah, I thought that story was fucking hilarious. Fuck, dude. Bro, this is like fucking normal mode too. Make the sale. Yeah, that's what I was saying, dude. Dude, and I, I was like thinking about it earlier. I think it was yesterday. Cause I, I was I was like laughing at the story to myself. And I was like <laughs> this fucking goober <laughs> telling telling a mom not to buy her kid a video game because it's God of War. And then after that, it, it like, it fucking dawned on me where he, he fucking, like, 
got mad at me for not wanting to sell like some cheap ass fucking clippers that some guy wasn't even interested in it because uh, me, I, I'm pretty sure I've told the story before uh, but me uh, I, I was like talking to this one guy I was talking to this one guy who was about to like buy a, a master grade Zeta and uh, I was like, yeah, dude, like, you, you should you should watch Gundam Zeta. It's, it's it's probably, like, one of my favorite shows, or it's probably, like, one of my favorite animes. He's like, oh, I don't, I, I don't watch it. I just build it. And then for whatever reason, the, the dude, like, he, like, jumps in. And he's like, oh, well, you know, if you want, we have these, like, kits back here. And I was like, nah, I don't. I was like, you, you don't need to worry about those kits, dude. Like, uh, and, th and then I asked him, I was like, well, you know what? Like, what, what kind of clippers you got? And he was like, oh, I just got some, uh, he's like, I just got some clippers that I picked up from the, from the hardware store. And I was like, all right, dude, like, if you want, like, we got some god hands in the back, or, like, you know, on the shelf, too, that are, like, fucking amazing. Like, highly recommend them. And then after that, uh, he got fucking mad at me. Because he was like, he was like, you know, you probably shouldn't call our products garbage. I was like, bro, fuck you, those fucking... Those fucking $20 clippers we got back there, like, from fucking Amazon, those things are garbage. Like, I'm over here trying to sell them a good fucking product. You're over here, you don't fucking know shit about Gunpla. He actually doesn't. That's honestly what made me mad about the whole transaction, or, you know, interaction with that. Was, uh, he was trying to fucking come off like he knew about Gunpla. And like building models and shit like that, and it's like, bro, you don't, you don't fucking know. Stay in your lane, which is like, I don't know, staying behind the cash register or something. God damn it, dude! This fucking boss is kicking my ass right now. But uh, but yeah, so nobody liked that story. <laughs> Why is this boss like this? He's back. Oh no! He came back and I instantly fucking died. You missed the extreme power play I just fucking pulled off. But yeah. Uh, but no, nah, oh man. Yesterday at work was god awful. Cheap tools equal bad outcome. Dude, that. Oh, okay, so like the those those tools that he was trying to sell, like uh, th those were the first ones that I used. Like I used those to build like the Master Grade 3.0 RX 782, and uh, they they were bad. It, it was it was a like I, I don't want to say it was a bad experience, but like there's a reason why I bought God Hands after like the first two kits. Like, I built the RX-78 II, like, the Master Grade, and then I built, like, a High Grade RX-78 II. And then I think, I, I want to say I was in the middle of a Master Grade Heavy Arms. It was either the Heavy Arms or it was the Heavy Arms Death Scythe. Either way, it was, like, within, like, my first three or four builds. Uh, I was like, no, I'm buying some real Clippers because these are not good. And, uh, the, uh... It was, it was worth it. Like, I, I am a god hand purchaser for life now. Yeah, for auto and December. Because all these cheapo crap. Yeah. Nah, but like, like I said, though, like... I'm sure, like, the automotive ones were, like, better than those fucking shitty $20 ones that we had. Like, even the $13 god hands that we have, I'm pretty sure are better. And I, I know they are, because I used some of, like, the baby god hands before. Uh, they they worked really well. Uh, they they gave a, a really clean cut. Like honestly, like a, I don't want to say it was cleaner than like the forty, you know, the forty dollar ones, but it was it was good for like you know, thirteen bucks, fourteen bucks, whatever I pay for on Amazon. I ended up giving them to my brother, and uh, I don't know if he ever got around to building that kit. I felt her better, dude. <laughs> that was a. That was a kit for my backlog. But, uh, yeah. Nah. 
I don't know, like, he's he's an okay guy, and it's just like, it's just a fucking know-it-all. It's like the only issue that I have with him. Still think of exacto knives and separate parts from the trees. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's, that's, that's not too bad of an option or thing to do. Uh, I mainly use it for, God, I mainly use the exacto knife for the, uh, what do you call it? Um, for like the cleaning up process. Like now, now what I do is uh, if there's like a part that has like a bunch of like you know, it's got like the white on it. I will uh, I will kind of like flake away at it and then polish it up later. But uh, no, like work, working there, it's it's introduced me to like a lot of cool people that like build gunpla and. We kind of just like, you know, we'll, we'll fucking sit there and talk for like 15 minutes and like trade techniques and like ideas and shit like that to, to getting stuff cleaned up. Because uh, I was talking to this one guy, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it, it was yesterday. It was like on Tuesday. Uh, and he, he was, he'd, he'd been in it for a while, but he basically just been sticking to high grades because he, he wants to get better at it before he, uh, before he starts, you know, anything crazy, like anything more expensive. And so I, 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 I basically told him like, hey man, this, this is my techniques. These are my secrets. Uh, you can use them. And uh, it was, it's just like what I do on, you know, stream. And uh, nah, that, that dude was like super grateful for, uh, for my advice because he said that he has like issues with the uh, grades on Gunpla. Uh, so you got your entry grades, which is kind of like your intro to Gunpla. Uh, super easy. You don't really need the tools. Like you don't really need the tools. They, they separate from the plastic fairly easily, but it, it, it still will leave like some nubs, nub marks and stuff like that. Uh, and then you get your, but they're, the, the entry grades also aren't as detailed. Yeah, the entry grades aren't as detailed. Uh, then you get to like the high grades, and the high, high grades are, are fairly detailed. Like they're, they're not, they're not anything to like write home about. Uh, but they, they, they are a little bit more complex than the, uh, than, you know, the entry grades. And then, uh, and then you get into the you know, master grade, master grade, real grade area of things. And uh, that's where, that's where things start to get a little more crazy. Uh, there, there's also a scale as well, uh, like, like entry grades, damn dude, like entry grades and uh, high grade and real great they all have the same height or yeah like height like i, I want to say it's like one 100 and uh like one one like one uh oh shit, what was it like one 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 hundredth of four forty four or something like that i don't know I, I forgot what it was off the top of my head uh but that's like the scale of it it's like one out of like 144 or some shit uh they're they're pretty small they're about like six to seven inches and then uh and then you get like to your your master grade and those things are like one one hundredth of a scale and then you get to uh i think it's like one one hundredth of a scale and then you get to like perfect grade which i think is like one sixty two of a scale of a you know scale or some shit like that I can't remember the the ones for perfect grade off the top of my head or master grade. I, I, I don't really look at like you know scale size and all that stuff. Um, but it, it the ma the major difference is, is just it comes with like complexity, time, fuck, complexity, and stuff like that. That's the uh, that's the real difference between all of them. It's just like complexity, uh, level of detail. I get put in them. Better molded colors. Uh, I, I I would say the colors are are still the same, or you know r roughly the same still. Um, there there isn't really a kit that I've seen where it's just like, oh, uh, you know what, these uh these colors are kind of trash. Fuck. 
Yeah, there, there's not one that, I, that I've seen like that. Bro. Chill. Game's fucking brutal. At least they give you like infinite continues. But the amount of levels, it's it's actually pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot. I didn't think it would be this long. I thought it'd be like five short levels and like that would be it. Fuck. What was I supposed to do do there? There's nothing I could do. I gotta figure out, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about what's the next one I'm going to play. Ah! I was literally in the Matrix there. I watched Shog build Gunpla. But never encountered them IRL. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Shog, Shog does pretty good work. Like, at least from, like, the VOD that I've seen. The VODs that I've seen. Uh, I don't really get to catch her live all that much, honestly. I don't really get to watch anyone live that much anymore. Uh, I just been, like, you know... Like, the the way that my work schedule works is I'm, I'm usually not even back home until, like, average... Like, 5 o'clock? Usually 8 o'clock on, like, Tuesdays or whatever my longest day is. I kind of just, you know, I kind of just get home and then do whatever. And then, like, on the days that I'm not working, I'm usually getting ready for a stream or I'm doing my own stream. So, I don't even get to, like, you know, watch anyone stream because I'm already streaming. I get to watch the late night streams. That's what I do get to watch. Well, like, the late night degenerates that stay up to, like, 3 a.m., but yeah, uh, I, I mean, it's it's not a bad hobby. There's there's worse hobbies out there that you could get into, like uh, buying and collecting obscure Japanese games to show off to whoever will stop by a stream and watch me play weird games that I have a a niche interest in. This joystick's a little sensitive. It's either the joystick or it's like ship controls itself is like sensitive. Bro, how are you even supposed to do this? I want to see a perfect play of this. Like, no hit. Like, it's impossible. There's no way you can do this no hit. It's insane. It's madness. I say told. It was 3 a.m. on the East Coast. Dang. Probably should have been asleep. <laughs> I don't go to sleep until like 1 a.m. now, like Central Time. Like 1 or 2 a.m. It, it, it depends. Like if I don't work that day, I'll probably stay up to like 3 a.m. Although I do have a bad habit of like forgetting, like losing track of the time. And then, uh... Like, losing track of the time and then just, like, you know, you know, staying up until, like, 5 a.m. That's just how it is sometimes. I just spawned. I spawned and died. That was bullshit. I get the feeling this is the last boss. This looks very final boss-ish. Boss -ish. God damn. Bombs do nothing. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Okay, I think I know how I'm supposed to dodge that now. I figure out how I'm supposed to dodge that one, and then I, I get hit with like something completely different. Oh, 
unemployment. Uh, yeah, I know that feeling. I'm like, like half in, half out of the unemployment thing. I, I do have a job, but I, I only work like a little under 20 hours a week, but it's, it's enough for me. At least it would be if I wasn't just like constantly spending my money on stupid shit. Like, if, if I actually, like, just sat down and, like, held on to, like, you know, my money and was, like, actually a responsible adult, I, I'd probably be saving up, like, like, a hundred, maybe, like, 150 a week. But, uh, bro, working at a fucking video game store is fucking rough. <laughs> you get, like, like, so much good shit just, like, walks in the door on, like, any given day. And, like, we all get, like, first dibs. So I'm just like, oh man, look at all these cool fucking video games that I just randomly have access to. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's how that goes. Hey, I beat the game. Big ups. But did I really beat it? I beat it enough. I'm putting it on the, uh, games that I've completed this year. Don Don Patchy Daijo. What? Bro, it's just like Evangelion. Holy fuck. Yeah, that's a Ghost in the Shell reference. And it's the purple chick that I picked. Very cool. Thank you, game. Very cool. Uh, that's it wasn't too bad of a game. It's uh, it's it's definitely up there as like one of my favorite shooter maps now. Uh, I will play this more in the future. Uh, because I greatly enjoyed it. But yeah, on to the next game. Uh, let's see. Give me a second. So, the other games I have lined up. Hold on. Sorry, I thought I smelt something weird. Let's see. I may pop in EDF. Like, EDF1 OG, because I, I mean, like, I, I played a little bit of it earlier today to, like, test it out. But I only got to, uh, okay, to get as far G. as, you know, just the first level. Uh, we'll, we'll do EDF2 later, and then we're gonna play that, uh... Oh, you know what? Let's play, uh, Space Raiders instead. There's, like, uh, two more Japanese games that I want to pick up. Uh, I was going to say before the end of the month, but, uh, it'll probably be, like, you know, uh, like, sometime next month. Hey, it still works. Let's go. I'm looking at the cover for uh, Space Raiders for uh, GameCube and uh, PS2. And you know I what? Don't. I think I like. I think I like the American version better. Yeah, Taito. Taito can't do no wrong, dude. They're literal fucking goats. Never made a bad game in their life. Yeah. 
just like EDM. Bro, it's gonna be a whole fucking... It's gonna be a whole fucking night of just killing bugs. That's all I ask for in my video games. Now you may be wondering, Gondo, what type of game is this? Uh, you will be surprised. Jeez, that was gnarly. Yeah, it's the Air Force. <laughs> I was gonna say, we know who the main character is here. Hell yeah! the Vegeta thing going on. He's holding the arm. He's on 10%. Get him a Sensu Beam. Alright, so we're just going through all our main characters right now. I've already got a more compelling story than like any other movie I've seen in recent years. And no words have been spoken at all. Amazing. It was cinema. Peak. Hey, it's just like that scene from Parasite Eve. I can't believe they tried to fucking rip that iconic scene off. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Damn, you literally live like this? You are a grown ass woman. Clean your fucking apartment. Holy shit. Go kill those bugs. Damn, who left all these guns lying around? Classic MP5. It's so over for these bugs. I mean, 
and I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have taken more than just one gun and one bag. Well, you know what? That's... That's on him. He's the hero. He can do whatever he wants. Oh my god, it's in English. Let's fucking go. Well, it's a, most of it's in English. Oh my god, it's actually all in English. I love Taito games. They can do no wrong. There it goes. It's just a slow slave, that's all. Let's see. I don't know why I'm just so used to like modern options having like <laughs> <laughs> graphic settings or like PC games having graphic settings so I automatically just go into the options and expect there to be something uh, we're gonna play as not Ashley or not Nina Williams I wonder how long this game is. I don't imagine these games are like super long. Like uh, the, these were released under the, like the Simple 2000 series. You leave me no choice. Oh my God! It's got English voice acting. But yeah, it's just Space Invaders. That's all. You get like three cover. A dodge! Holy shit! Ah, oh, that's so cool! I love this game. What do I need the fucking English version for? I'm just gonna take the game. Oh my god, bro! You can't do that. That's against the rules, bro. They can just move your fucking cup and get into your line. I can just hold it. I don't have to constantly press it. Burrows is so over. Burrows, I ain't gonna fucking make it. <laughs> That's all it is. It's nothing crazy. Oh, you get beans. Hell yeah. I wish I would have known that earlier. I would have definitely cleared out those mosquitoes. Okay, 
Why do I need the fucking GameCube version then if everything's already in English? You know what? I'll, I'll test out the GameCube version as well. Just to, uh, just to make sure. I thought it would give me like invulnerability or something. Easy. Oh yeah, I thought I thought this would just all be in Japanese and I'd be like, alright. It's whatever. But it's it's actually How they did that, though, or why they did that? Like, if I mean, I guess if the intention was to never be released, like outside of Japan, why have it all in English in the first place? Unless it was like they wanted it to. I, I feel like it like the audio's like kind of peaking with those uh explosions. Alright, there we go. It do kind of suck though that your cover does not re respawn or replenish. And like I don't know like how long this is supposed to go on for. It said it's a story mode. And I, I don't know what I expected from a $20 Japanese Kusoge. What is Rumble? Not familiar with that site. Oh, Rumble? Uh, it's an alternative video hosting site. Kind of like YouTube. They also do uh, streaming as well, but you gotta play, pay like $10 a month to stream on their website. Uh, I use it as a backup for my videos. I, there, there's no ex- dang it. There's no exclusive okay. content on there. Ah, oh, it resets your fucking timer. Uh, there's no exclusive content on there. It's just purely a backup for my YouTube videos because uh, YouTube hit me with a community strike uh, last December, and uh, I was not happy about that. So I decided to make an account on Rumble since they seem pretty uh, uh, less lenient on this stuff, uh, on you know that type of stuff. Or, you know, whatever type of stuff I got accused of, which was, like, hateful speech. Or hate speech. And I was like, where? Where in the video is their hate speech? And they couldn't point it out to me. But anytime I try to upload it, they would tell me no. then if you can't you can't use it to block the fire this is got okay never mind it's not the end of the building oh it's uh the summon a help or summon a clone of yourself he was bad with that got hit for a meme of the dude at the desk it's a 
Beatles mono mixes are superior, change my mind on Facebook. Holy shit, dude. They hit you for that type of shit? That's so dumb. I thought the dodge had iframes on Facebook. Yeah. It's whatever. But yeah, so I, I use Rumble every so often to just like upload some videos. Not a lot. It's just enough to like, you know, yeah, just, just, you know, post it somewhere else. I'm gonna lie, everything in this game is like really fucking spongy. He's the main character as well. Stage two. God damn, that was like fucking 20 stages right there. What happened it's just here? like Resident Evil. Huh? Wake up. are moving oh my god it's a head crab please forgive me oh i was gonna say if it's like in reverse that'd be so fucking sick buddy why are these guys so fucking tanky holy shit not be this fucking tanky. That's like my only issue with the game so far. Is like how fucking tanky some of these enemies are. I feel like two or three hits would be enough. Just like lower the health, but like increase the amount of enemies. I definitely should have saved it for here. Uh, this is Space Raiders. Uh, 
basically it's Space Invaders. Well, it's made by the people that made Space Invaders, so that's why it's uh, it looks like Space Invaders and kind of plays like Space Invaders. The only thing is, like, you don't get you don't get a cover, and uh, the enemies are like much more tankier. Unless there's like something that I'm missing. Holy shit! That dude tried to drive a car into me. So far, my, my least favorite aspect of this game is the, the fact that the enemies are just super fucking tanky. Look at that fucking clean dodge, dude. Damn it. Yeah, my, my only real issues so far is like, enemies are super tanky, and uh, it takes too long to actually clear a level. Because there's like rounds within a level. Or stages within a level. So you gotta go through like eight fucking levels or eight stages before you can complete one level. Which, uh, so far my only complaint. Other than that, like, I mean, it, it was like. It was balanced out better with like less tanky enemies and a little bit more squishy ones. It wouldn't be so bad. Also, if it actually had, like, fucking cover, like how Space Invaders had. Also, I can't seem to fucking hit these guys. Hit me with the Galaga sound effects. Jeez. It's either like <laughs> Galaga effects or that's fucking like the actual Space Invader sound effects. Now that I know that I can just like mash the the attack button and it'll be faster, I can just do that now. I said I was holding it and it wasn't uh it wasn't going very fast. Look at this bastard fucking hiding behind the shield. I need behind cover. God damn. Oh yeah, it's a shoot em up. It's a ground shoot em up. You're gonna guess red increases like the amount of damage that you do. This is where having like an auto button or a turbo button would definitely come in handy. Hell, dude, these enemies are just 
so fucking tanky. I at least want to get to stage three. Also, the hitboxes feel a little off, too. I can't explain it, but it, it kind of feels off sometimes. Like, it, it doesn't feel like, um, like actually lined up with them. Okay, here we go. Stage 2 boss now. God damn! Fucking tanky! Holy shit! I mean, again, he's a boss, but still, I've fucking fought less tankier enemies in this shit before. Less tankier bosses in this shit. I guess because I'm just like used to the pacing of a shoot 'em up, and that's what I was expecting out of this. It was like shoot 'em up mechanics, or like, you know, space invaders mechanics, where like everything kind of dies in like one or two hits. Fucking voice acting, man. Who? <sighs> Those monsters. Why? Why did they do this? <gasps> Here they come. I think I'm gonna call it on this one, dude. It's not bad, but holy fuck. These dudes are so fucking tanky. That's like the only thing that's ruining the game for me. Like if it was less tanky, like if they were less tanky, I I would not mind. Watch that would have been like the last one too. It's like three levels each. Damn. Imagine doing all that and then just have to do it all over again. Let's see. Let's take a look at the... Uh, at the YouTube. Space Raiders. Let's see. Space Raiders. I guess GameCube. We'll check out the GameCube version. Oh, there is a co-op mode. By the look. Yeah, two-player co-op. Holy shit. Netplay. What the fuck? 
Yeah. No, I, I, I think it's like each character has like three levels. Stage one, two, three, four. Oh god, never mind. Each character has like five. Six. Yeah, each character has like six fucking levels, dude. Holy shit! I was only on stage three. I was, uh, I would not have been able to tolerate that much longer, honestly. It was, uh, like, it's not bad. It's, just, like I said, it's just the enemies are just so fucking tanky. And, uh, I'm not a fan of that, honestly. Remember this game terrifying me as a kid? I was creeped out the whole time I was playing. Holy shit. Nice, the House of the Dead 2 description. What? Start reading these com these comments. The worst reboot slash remake. This was number one. Dang. Oh, out of the top ten worst reboot slash remakes, this was number one. It's not. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just fucking bits are goddamn annoying. The GameCube version in is in the US, but the PS2 version titled Space Invaders Invasion Day is in Europe. Okay. This was really hard and I'm terrible at it. <laughs> so the garbage at this game. Unfortunately, I kept getting hit and losing my streak. Is that this is easy and I just suck up at suck at bullet kills. <laughs> a whopping 23,000 after beating the final boss. Let's see, this game is my childhood. Kind of like old school handhelds. What? That has nothing to do with handhelds. What's this dude talking about? It's just a mid game. It's that's all. Like it's it's not super bad. It's just it's just a mid game. Like this this might be something that I'll play like when I have a fucking DSP stream going on in the background just to like kill some fucking time, but it doesn't look like there's like an actual fucking story. It's like you 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 play each character all the way up until the end and then like you get like, you know, one cutscene relating to them or something like that. <laughs> 